Hey y'all, it's me, Naturally Sage. Welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any natural hair and lifestyle content. Okay, you subscribed? Okay, cool. How you doing, girl? I want to be honest and authentic with you guys as much as possible. Sometimes when I'm going through it, I really just have to be alone. I really have to be alone. I truly believe that nobody's going to come and save me. And that no matter what, I'm always going to have to figure it out by myself at some point in life. Or like, I'm not always going to be able to vent online or with friends or I don't know. So it's just kind of been a season of focusing on myself, my peace, and trying to weather the storm. Because life has been fighting life has been beating me down and you know sometimes I don't fight back and I just get sad but this time I've been sad but I've also fought back so that's been kind of cool to see you know Okay, girl, we're at our wax. Found a park a little bit further away. Okay, I'm gonna pay the parking and I'll see y'all after. I'm not gonna film in there. I don't feel like it. I'll call you at my wax, okay? I mentally do not have much left in me. And like, usually, oh, I didn't realize it was following me. Usually I would cancel plans like this because I'm meeting. I met only one time before an event. I just went to Trader Joe's and got us a couple things to like snack on. After my wax, I literally went straight home, lay down and did nothing, talked to my man for a little bit, and I didn't have time to eat. I didn't make time to eat, let's be honest. We have stuff at home. I bought this $3 salad at Trader Joe's along with some of our snacks. <laughs> and there's no fork. It looks so good too and it smells so good. Look at it. And then it comes with this little spicy dressing. Like, is it still gonna be good? All right, friends, we've officially made it to the water. This is gonna be our little spot for the next however long. I'm about to set us up a little blankie. I'm gonna ask wants to be on film. And if y'all are ever interested or like nervous about it, don't worry, so am I. Oh my God, I'm scared right now. Let me point my camera at me. Hold it up. Hi! He gets really excited. Say hey! Oh! oh. This is Kane. Hello, Kane. This is a new friend, Kane Kane. Hi! Hello, Good to see you! Good to see you too. So, I was gonna like vlog setting up. Do you like yeah. not wanna be in it or do you care? Okay, cool! Oh, are you excited? It wasn't as exciting when it was just mommy. See how easy it can be, friends? You just have to ask people for, for their permission and give them a chance to say no and reject you, you know? I'm struggling.
Good morning. How are we? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Just arrived at my work from home space for the day. Hey girl, good morning, happy Saturday. Yeah, um, I'm supposed to be at this gardening event. Um, supposed to be at this event in this guard help. I'm supposed to be at this gardening event this morning. Okay. It was in West Loop and it started at 10 a.m. I woke up at 10.07. But anyway, not everything can be perfect, right? So what we have here, we, oh, let me turn the, there we go. Okay. So we have our lettuce. We have the red lettuce. We have three of them. I don't know what's going on with them. They um, used to have lettuces all the way up the leaves, <laughs> all the way up the, the stalk. But um, when we went to Denver, we left the garden and they just like haven't flourished since we got back. So pretty much every day, all you have to do is drench everything. And then, I am no garden expert by any means. That's why I wanna to go to the garden events. Um, but I do take off these dead ones because I hear that they can take nourishment from the healthy leaves. And that's not a leaf that we would like eat anyways. So we're gonna grab some of those off. These, oh, tiny little butterfly. These are some collards. And then we have our red cabbage, which is just doing swimmingly. Beautiful. I give the leaves a little, a little uh, dust of water too, cause it gets hot. And then I've also read this is not enough water, by the way. I'm gonna drench them a little bit more. I just know it's hot on the camera. Um, I've also realized or learned that when you when you take these leaves off, if you leave them in the pot, they like soak into the soil and it's not good for the plant. And then this is like my prize. This is my favorite thing that we're growing right now. Oh, see, look, got all these little things in there they like let off a bacteria or something like these little so we take those out um but the kale is my favorite out of all of the the ones that we have i think it's time that we can harvest her at one point there were like these little mites on the bottom but i went in and like personally scrubbed them off with a um water castilla soap solution but yeah wait wait i'll show you the whole thing oh i didn't even show you my other favorite one hold on hold on hold on girl the peppers look at our peppers look at them so we have two ones that are totally ready and then like look at how many we have like they're literally so many and then in here we've got two more oh sorry like three more actually there's literally a pepper everywhere on this plant oh my gosh anyway girl how are you how's your saturday going what do you have going on this weekend are we having like a restorative and restful weekend or is this a weekend where oh hold on, i got something is this a weekend where 
you have to be productive or social like what's going on this weekend is very social for me but I showered a long time ago. I showered, washed my hair, did it, it's in some twist, filmed a little tutorial for you guys, and now I gotta get out of the house because I'm already a little bit late, so I'm gonna change. And I don't know if I'm gonna film tonight, probably not. I just wanna spend time with my friends, and then tomorrow, we'll talk. Okay, my girl. girl voice and now that's my regular voice that's my serious voice that's my let's get down to business voice you just know <laughs> I'm scared this took me so long to do yesterday I was not expecting it to take that long but alas I ended up taking the scarf off too by the way because the way it flattened my head and then when you tie the scarf in the back I'll just show y'all when I take the bonnet off here we go So, as we can see, it looks like there's a little bit of work to be done, a little bit of shaping. We're going to go in with some of the brad hair oil first and then a little bit of water and start separating because that's all we can do at this point is just separate and see what happens. My man was like, how long are you going to keep these twists in? Baby, a day. Overnight. Went somewhere last night. I wore a scarf and a hood. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, bye. Why are you reading the 
summer because right now I am about to get to the fifth book of Akatar and well I'm on the fifth book but I haven't bought it or anything like that so I don't know when I'm gonna start it I'm also reading here wait let me just get it okay some of these I've started and some of them I have not let me start with the one the two that I'm most excited about so first of all this book is incredible I am on page 30 and let me just say I am thoroughly inspired by this book I think this is such a beautiful book I just want to read help <laughs> I just want to read one quote that I underlined yesterday that I thought was really powerful and this book is written by one of the exonerated five he is part of the Central Park Five so he was wrongfully sent to prison for um graping somebody and yeah I'm not going to give away a bunch of the story I think it's really interesting to actually read the story but one of the main points of this book is better not bitter is what it's called the central park jogger case is actually a love story between god and his people about a system of injustice placed on trial itself then toppled in order to produce what amounts to a miracle in modern time but as the old saying goes when you're walking through hell, keep on walking there is always something on the other side there is <laughs> why am i crying there is a purpose on the other side. Sure, it's hard to see it that way. You can't. Uh, obviously, I've been moved by this book several times. Even if you can't see the path, even when you're on it. But one day, just like I did, you'll turn around and reflect on the journey and say, my God, look at what I went through. This didn't happen to me, but this happened for me. I came out stronger. I just think it's a really incredible book and I've been going through a lot, so. The power of hope and living on purpose i think it's so beautiful and yeah do not expect to cry but anyway i got this book the art of gathering i think it kind of speaks for itself um from a book swap a little while back and i'm really excited to get into that one i haven't started it yet i'm definitely excited to see like what is inside of here so that one i haven't started but she's on my list and then i also have hood feminism really excited about this book and this is basically notes from the woman that the movement forgot is giving us the perspective of feminism from black women really excited to start that one as well and then we have moth to a flame if you're a series girly if you're a fantasy girly this book is incredible i am how far am i eh, maybe like 100 pages in so far and let me just tell you one thing that i'm working on is being able to explain books without reading the back but today is not that day and I'm just going to read the back because I think that it does a really good job. In the little city of Flint, Michigan, the good die young and the people left standing are the grimmest, ooh, help, grimiest, not grimmest, and the people left standing are the grimiest of characters. With rain over the city's drug trade. So not only can I not articulate my own thoughts, I cannot read words. Benjamin Atkins made sure that his precious daughter Raven was secluded from the grit that the city had to offer. But when Raven's young heart gets claimed by Mazan, a stick-up kid in search of a come-up, there's nothing Benjamin can do about losing her to the streets. She chooses love over loyalty and runs off with Mazan, but her new role as wifey soon proves to be more than she can handle. Puppy love always feels right, but things turn stale, and she soon finds that everyone she loves has disappeared. All she has is Mazan, but when the hugs and kisses turn to bloody lips and black eyes, she realizes that Mazan is not who she thought he was. Niggas. Mm -mm -mm. Raven becomes desperate for a way out, but this time daddy can't save her. Every time she finds the courage to leave, fear convinces her to stay. Like a moth to a flame, Raven is drawn to Mazan, even though she knows he'll be the death of her. When the hood life she chose becomes unbearable and the only way out is a coffin, what will she do? What will she do? I <sighs> really love this so far though. I gotta keep going on this one. I took a little break because I got distracted. And then, is this a summer reading list if I haven't read any of the books? These are just my summer books. I don't know. I also have this book before I let go. And it's basically 
is basically a story of like before I let go of this man. That's what it's getting at least. And see what I mean? I'm not very great at describing these. And then this one, honey girl, really excited about this one. So we have our, this one, I, okay. I can explain this one really good because I read it back so many times to explain to other people. So basically it's this girl and she gives like type A, like is giving like alpha woman type energy. You know, like she just has her stuff together. She's organized. She's successful. And you know, she has a really good life. No one was expecting her as a straight woman to go to Vegas and marry a woman. And I would just get to see how that plays out. 